In this video, we are going to see how to capture new HubSpot form submissions in Airtable. So let's say that you're using HubSpot as your CRM. And every time there is a new form submission, then automatically the information that you have received with that information, a record should be created in your spreadsheet here, Airtable. Now, how can you do that? For this, you will have to set up some integration between HubSpot and Airtable and the same thing can be done using Public Connect software. Here, your trigger application would be HubSpot and your action application would be Airtable. Now, how can you do this yourself, integrate and automate this entire process? To understand that, let me take you to my screen. To begin with the process, we are first going to type the url pabli.com slash connect and as we do that, here we have reached the landing page of this software. On the right hand side, you can see two options sign in and sign up for free. So if you are an existing user, simply sign in. If you are a new user, click on this tab sign up, it won't take more than two minutes. And also at the time of account creation, you will get 100 free tasks. Now I'm going to click on sign in. As I do that, here we have reached the all applications page. So I'm going to click on access now for Pabli Connect. As we do that, here we have reached the dashboard of this application. Again, on the right hand side, you can see a tab create workflow. Let's click on this and a dialog box has appeared, which is asking us to name this work. So here my objective is to capture new HubSpot form submissions in Airtable. So every time a form is submitted through HubSpot, then automatically the details would be captured in Airtable. So now I'm going to click on create. As I do that, here we have reached another window which has got two extremely important events. One is trigger and another one is action. Triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger is when this happens and action is do this. Basically action here is the response of your trigger application. What would be my trigger application here? I need to receive a form through HubSpot and then only with that information, a contact would be created in Airtable. So here my trigger application would be HubSpot CRM. Let's click on this. And now the trigger event. So it would be if I take you down new form submission. So trigger event is the event that will make my workflow start. So every time a new form is submitted, then only this workflow will run. So here you can see that this trigger will instantly capture new incoming data and the workflow execution will start in real time, which basically means that our trigger application has got no polling time. Now here you have received a webhook URL. So this webhook URL is going to act as a bridge for connecting Pabli Connect with HubSpot CRM so that Pabli Connect can have access to the information received through HubSpot. Now I'm going to copy this and now we have to follow this help desk. We have to follow these steps to set up this connection. I have already logged into my HubSpot account. So now I'm going to take you there. So this is my HubSpot account. We have to go to automation and there we have to go to workflows. So on the right hand side, you can see create workflow. Let's click on the drop down and we have to select from scratch. So once we have done this, so you have to select blank workflow and then select next. Here we have to click on setup triggers to configure contact enrollment trigger. And then on the right hand side, you can see a panel from here. We have to select form submissions and then we have to select any form submission. So once we have done this, you have to click on apply filter and then let's click on save. So once we have done that, we have to click on this plus icon. And as we do that under workflow, there is an option of send a webhook. Let's click on this and then we have to select the method. So we are going to select post method in the right panel. And here we have to paste the webhook URL that we have received through Pabli Connect. So I'm going to copy this, go back here and paste this over here. So once we have done this, let's click on save. So here you can see that our form submission has filled out any form submission on any page. And we have also added a webhook. So once we have done this, we have to click on review and publish. And then we have to click on this no only enroll contacts who meet the trigger criteria after turning the workflow on. So basically the question is these contacts already meet the trigger uh, criteria. Do you want to enroll them when this workflow turns on? No. So once we have done this, let's click on turn on. 
So here you can see that our workflow is on. So once this has happened, I'm going to take you back to Pabli Connect. And here it is saying that now log into the application where you have added the webhook URL and do a test submission so that the data can be recorded here in the webhook response. Basically, to understand if Pabli Connect is connected with HubSpot CRM, we have to do this test submission to check our integration. So now I'm going to take you back here and then let's click on back to workflows. We are going to go to marketing, go to lead capture. Here we can find forms. Let's click on this. I already have created a form here. The name is contact form. You can create your own specific form, which you can perfectly customize by clicking on this create form tab. Now let's click on this as it gets opened. I'm going to view form and here we have the form right in front of us. So now I'm going to fill in these details. So let's say the first name is dummy. The last name is user 123. Then the email address here is dummy new at pablitudes.com. Then we have the mobile number. I'm going to click on submit. So as soon as we have submitted the form, going back to Pabli Connect, let's check if we have received the API response. And here we can see that yes, we have received the API response. So we have found the details over here. So as I take you down here, here we have the number, the mobile number. Then again, as I scroll down, we have the name, which is the last name. So this is new user123. And then as I take you down again, here we have the email address of the person and then we also have the contact number. So my next objective is that with this information, I should be able to create a record in my spreadsheet, which is Airtable. So I'm going to add another action step over here. And this time the application is Airtable. Let's click on this. And the action event here would be to create a new record. Let's click on connect. So as we do this here, Pabli Connect is asking to connect itself with the Airtable account. To set up this connection, let's select add new connection. And then here we have to provide the token. I have already logged into my Airtable account. So I'm just going to click on this hyperlink. As we do that here, let me scroll down. And this is your API key. I'm going to quickly copy this, go back to Pabli Connect and paste this over here. Let's click on save to set up this connection. So once this is done here, we can see that Pabli Connect and Airtable are now connected. Here we have to select the base ID, the table ID, and then the further information. What is this base ID and table ID? So let me show you, I've already logged into my Airtable account. So this is my Airtable account. This is the dashboard. Here I've got different workspaces. Within these workspaces, we have got different bases. So I have already created a base. The name is HubSpot Details. Let me show you. So here I have got the following column fields, first name, last name, email address, and phone number. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you back to Pabli Connect. And here I'm going to select the base, which is HubSpot details. Let's click on this. Now we can see that the table ID is already been captured by the system because there was only one table. And now we have to fill in this information. Basically, we have to map this information. What is mapping? Mapping is as I click on this, I would be able to see the previous step where I have got the information and I'm just going to retrieve it here. Mapping is important because if I write this information manually here, so every time the workflow runs, it will never take the new data. It will only capture the manually written data and my workflow won't be successful. So now I'm going to go to step one and here I'm going to look for the first name, which is dummy and then we have the last name so what is the last name user 123 so as i take you down here this is the last name then we need the email address again i'm going to go to step one and here i'm going to look for the email address here it is and then we need the phone number so go to step one and here is the phone number so once done do you want to enable typecasting so i have set false now let's click on save and send test request so as soon as we do that here, we have received the API response, which basically means that if this integration is a success, then automatically the information should become a part of my spreadsheet. And here you can see that, yes, we have received the information, which basically means that this integration is a success. But we also need to check this in real time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the form, refresh the page, and I'm going to fill in another form. So let's say the first name here is new. The last name here is test. Then we have the email, which is new test at pabli 
www.sbsinstitutes.com and then we have the phone number. Once done, let's click on submit. So here we can see that the form has been submitted, which means that in our Airtable, another row must be added. So here we can see that yes, we have received the response. The, the first name is new. The last name is test. This is the email address and the phone number, which basically means that our entire integration process is a success. Going back to Pabli Connect, let's quickly understand what we have done. So this is an extremely easy two step integration process where our trigger application is HubSpot CRM. The event is new form submission. The action application is Airtable and the event is to create record. I hope this is absolutely clear to you. If in case you have any doubt, you can refer to the workflow given in the description box of this video. You can also clone the same and start to process immediately. Apart from this, if you have any other integration that you wish to work on, please write to us. Not only this, but you can integrate multiple applications using Pabli Connect software. To ask any of your query, you have to write at forum.pabli.com. You can also visit our website, which is www.pabli.com slash connect. To get all the details about the latest updates, the integrations and applications, you can visit our Facebook group. If in case you have found this video helpful, then do not forget to share this with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get into automation and make their life easy. I'm going to see you very soon with different integrations and automations. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care of yourself.